Firefighters in one New Mexico City had to travel for their training, but that will be changing soon as they get a long-awaited facility. News 13's Marilyn Upchurch has a look at the plans. This is a, has been a dream of the Eskimo Fire Department since we became a career department. The city of Española says they are excited to finally get a facility of their own where their firefighters can receive hands-on fire training in their own backyard. Right now, currently, if you want any kind of fire training, uh, live fire training, you have to go all the way to Socorro. So this building will get you to fire one certified. The building is similar to what Albuquerque Fire Rescue has. Española Fire Department says it will help them get ready for real fires as it simulates different kinds of situations. You can actually come in from the top and go down to simulate a basement fire. Um, then it's going to have five stories for rope re repelling. The city purchased the burn building at a cost of $700,000. Funding for the tower came from capital outlay money. This is phase one of the project. Phase two will include building a new fire station with funding from the state. And then it'll have uh, living quarters on one side and the other side will have a huge uh, training uh, rooms with showers, uh, lockers, and bathrooms. The city hopes the tower will be complete by August and say it will be a hub for nearby stations to also train. The importance of this is not just working for the city of Española's fire departments, but all the various volunteer fire departments that we work together on a constant basis to do mutual effort and support to them. Marilyn Upchurch, CARE QE, News 13. The department says every firefighter must have 18 hours a year at a live training facility. The mayor says residents could also benefit because having firefighters train locally could lower insurance costs in the area.